Arthur Neri is the most recognizable R&B artist in the Philippines right now. He now has an impressive number of over 3 million monthly listeners on Spotify. And everyone adores a man with a resonant high-pitched voice or what everyone knows him as a falsetto guy. Now, let's discuss Arthur Neri's life before he gained fame. Arthur Neri was born on January 28, 1996, and is currently 27 years old. He is a native of Cagayan de Oro, Mindanao, where he was also raised. Arthur grew up in a musically inclined household. His parents, who are both singers, have a deep appreciation for jazz and blues. Arthur has fond memories of his family coming together after dinner to sing worship songs during his childhood. The first public performance of Arthur's was for a birthday party. He was eight years old and sang Fly Me to the Moon, which was a favorite song of the celebrator. Despite these influences, Arthur did not consider music a possible career. Until later in life, he began to write songs while in high school. In college, Arthur majored in psychology. While in college, music became a part of his life again. He joined the glee club and got formal training. He also began taking his songwriting seriously. I followed my dreams. It was in college when I realized that I knew how to write songs while trying to decide whether or not he would go full-time into music. Arthur trained as a call center agent and taught English online to Japanese students. Convinced by friends, Arthur decided to try his luck as a singer-songwriter. He accepted whatever gig came his way and sang mostly covers, occasionally performing one of his own compositions, Life Puzzle. 2019. A turn in his career happened when he performed at a gig as an opening act for the comedian Wacky Kirai. There, he sang a song he wrote, titled Life Puzzle, which caught the attention of the comedian. Wacky Kirai decided to contact Kalalele frontman Keen Cipriano after discovering that Arthur did not yet have a record deal. And then he heard me, and then he asked me if I'm a label, and then I can have a friend. I was oblivious. I didn't know what labels are for. As the two got in touch, they both knew that they were looking at an artist who would be big someday. Quote, I just thought he had a refreshing sound. It was a pulse thing. Instantly, I knew more people needed to hear him. Unquote. The timing is perfect, as OC Record was looking for an artist outside Metro Manila. Arthur wasted no time and immediately flew to Manila to sign a deal with Keane's record company in 2019. The magic happened when Life Puzzle became his first official single under OC Records. He started the work releasing another song that year called Binhi. What he didn't know was that this song would play a big role in his success. After the release of his song Binhi, which was released in June, he debuted Letters Never Sent, a 10-track album. The biggest hit on the album is Higa, a song that put him into mainstream. It topped several local playlists and gained recognition. Here's what he said when asked how he wrote the song. Talking about resting, yeah. I'm just really telling people to just take care of stuff. In 2021, he had his breakthrough year. People started to recognize him and love his falsetto voice. He is now famous, unlike before, and he took advantage of that by releasing a record-breaking single that would ultimately change his life. He released a single titled Pagzamo. The track quickly became a hit, breaking records on Spotify Philippines and racking up over 400k to 500k streams in a single day. It also beat global superstars like BTS and Adele to reach the top spot on the charts. A few of his songs have also been able to keep their spots in the top 50. Now he has the opportunity to showcase his talent and perform wherever he desires, such as on the Wish Bus. This outstanding performance garnered him the recognition of being the recipient of the Wishclusive Contemporary R&B Performance of the Year. During that period, he kept growing and to add to his successful year, 
he was featured on a song titled Pelicula by Janine. The two made a remarkable collaboration. He unveiled his final song of the year 2021, titled Iselang, which would later gain immense popularity as well. In 2022, Arthur decided to take a hiatus from his music career and released just a single track called Sinag featuring Sam Bewick. It seems that during that year he wanted to concentrate on his upcoming projects and album. Additionally, he only appeared on various television shows and interviews where he showcased his musical talents. The performance that attracted the most attention in that year was his appearance at the Dubai Expo 2020. Several months later, he organized his first ever solo concert in July. Throughout his career, his diligent efforts are rewarded when he achieves numerous accolades. He returned this year with the release of two songs which showcase a jazz-type approach that is unexpectedly different from his usual music style. It's evident that he establishes himself as one of the top R&B artists in the Philippines.